And it's crazy. Well, before we get off of anything like college related, especially because you did mention you 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 move throughout high school and you move throughout college using what you learn about high school. There's so many people that are in those environments and don't realize while they're there, there's so much value to it and they need to leverage it. What are some tips or some of the things that you learned in terms of how to navigate and, and leverage and maximize the education environment? So I think a lot of people that, that do music and are in school, they don't want to be known as, oh, that's that SoundCloud rapper or whatever, you know, and because at first some people are going to talk shit because, you know, if you're in high school or college, you're probably not at the peak of your music making abilities, right? But the key thing is just to know who you are and know that if this is what you want, people are going to see, people can see you as whatever you want, but it's more about what you see yourself as and the confidence that you bring to that and, and focusing on the people that do support you and the people that do appreciate what you're bringing to the world rather than the ones that don't. So I would say number one is to own it, you know, be own, own what you're doing. And then uh, number two is like, tell people about it. Don't be afraid to self promote shamelessly. Like when I was in high school on Valentine's day, I took this picture, right. Of me shirtless in front of the mirror flexing, and it said uh it was like it was like it was like one of those like mean valentine's cards i should have put i don't want a valentine i just want valentino i'm gonna do that for this year's valentine's day but <laughs> it said that was before the song it said uh i love you almost as much as i love myself and it had hearts around and it just had my soundcloud link all over and i used my school's free printing and i printed out like a thousand of them bitches and was just passing it around in school so everyone at school immediately was going to know who i am and even if that doesn't mean they go and click on your link or go follow you on Instagram, them knowing who you are and knowing that you make music is so valuable. So that was a big thing in college. I made these uh, stickers that were based off those little, those little uh, porn ads, like this ugly son of a bitch is fucking super hot bitches or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I, made it, I made it. This ugly son of a bitch is respecting super hot chicks. And I put my face there and I threw those up all over the college campus. And eventually it just kind of became like, well known like oh that's the super ugly son of a bitch that's respecting all these hot chicks and he makes mm. fire music like you just got to keep going hard being consistent yo i mean so the things that i lo love about what you said one of course yeah that owning it and not being afraid because everybody has to overcome that hurdle you're not gonna get anywhere without it but the way you market it i talked to so many artists and when it comes to marketing it's so disappointing the lack of creativity that they use in their marketing like yeah. those, what you did in high school, what you did in college, the approach to the Valentines and, and the whole porn flip, like actually creating something that's that's worth talking about. Like that part is is huge because again, as long as they have you in their mind and they know who you are, that's step number one. Like you yeah. don't need them to love your music the moment they get to know you. Like that's it's like a relationship. Like, oh, what's the rush? Don't move that fast. But yeah, okay, you know who I am. Bet. And I think a a, a really good point to make is like you can't just copy what I did and expect the same success because the way that you market has to be authentic to your brand. And me, I'm, I'm a funny guy. I'm a ladies man or whatever. And that, that rang true with my marketing. People could, could tell that from talking to me, they'd see it from the things I posted on the internet. And then they'd see it in real life, like finding out what your brand, who, who you are as a person and who you are as an artist, understanding yourself is key because from there, that's how you build on all your marketing plans. That's how you build out your music and all of that stuff. Yeah. I mean, that, that right there, that self-awareness, I feel like a lot of people don't necessarily have. Um, and they're spending so much time. Or I always say, you know, of course, I talk about branding a lot and marketing a lot. But I always say you can't start with that stuff. Uh, you're listening to so much of that stuff that you're trying to create who you are based on these hacks and tricks. It's like, no, you got to figure out who you are. So then you can, you, and then apply accordingly to things that make sense for you. Like that yeah. simple. So the fact you got that self-awareness is big because everything becomes easy after you actually know who you are. You know what I mean? Yeah. Facts. <laughs> Thank you.